a really good, fresh uh, atmosphere and attitude around the team. I think the guys are uh, excited to get things going, and um, you know, with the with the influx of all the you know the the new guys and uh, having some guys back and uh, the returners, I think uh, should make for a very uh, interesting season. And we lost some talented players last year to graduation, but. Uh, Certainly, uh, we have a lot of uh, reasons for, for hope and excitement as uh, guys like uh, Jimmy Vesey, who, uh, you know, for a, a good stretch of the season was one of the most dangerous players in the league last year. Kyle Crisculo, who we, uh, night in, night out, uh, especially that second half of the season, uh, may have been our best player. Brian Hart, you know, you usually do see the biggest jump, uh, you know, uh, as far as the development of guys from their freshman to sophomore year. I thought Brian was playing. Uh, some of his best hockey at the end of the season. Um, so I think there's, there, are, there are guys that we feel can make big jumps and can be real important uh, parts of, of, uh, of a successful season this year. Uh, Dan Ford uh, is a guy that's been a, a top four defenseman uh, for the past three years here. He's going to be the, our captain this year. We're excited about uh, his brand of leadership. We're excited with the return of Patrick McNally and, and, and uh, Max Everson, uh, a guy like Desmond Bergen. Uh, stepped in and, and played very well. Braden Jaw stepped in uh, last year and the move from forward to defense and, and seemed to handle it very well. A um, guy like Danny Fick who's, who's seen uh, plenty of ice time for us over the last couple of years. Uh, mixed in with the young guys, um, you know, we feel that that group uh, has a chance to be, you know, very mobile, very offensive. We feel like we have some good offensive players uh, on, our, on our blue line. So we have three goalies, all three of them have played uh, games uh, for us, uh, you know, in the last few years, uh, Raphael Girard returns uh, and, and uh, has shown us in the past that, uh, you know, he can be a, a go-to guy and a guy that's uh, comfortable carrying the load. Uh, Stephen Michalik, his development, uh, you know, I think is, is ready to take off. And Peter Traber, uh, you know, showed us last year that uh, he was capable of, uh, of getting wins for us in there and playing well. So uh, all three guys should really push each other and uh, we feel that uh, our goaltending uh, will give us a chance to win every night. We're playing the defending national champs at Madison Square Garden in January, right in the middle of hockey season, uh, snow season if you will. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a great event. It'll be a great hockey game, but more importantly I think it's going to be a great event as well as, uh, as we hope that uh, our alumni and, and fans will uh, will rally around it and see it as a great opportunity to 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 go see a lot of uh, you know fellow Harvard uh, friends and 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 family and uh, you make it down to New York City for for a great event. Our schedule, as as usual, is very challenging. The ECAC uh, you know was uh, hands down the toughest league in the, in college hockey last year. Uh, you know, I, I would say that it's it's heading that direction again this year, uh, and we want to be right in the middle of that. I just think there's so many good things and positive things going around with the program uh, that that there's the f the future I think is very bright, and uh, we can't wait to get things started uh, and and show off our new team.